afternoon and welcome to my Friday. I just filmed a random additional video to put up on Saturday because I suddenly thought of some things. If you haven't seen it, feel free to go back and watch it. I'm still sitting in the same position and a postman just literally scared the living daylights out of me. Look where I'm sitting. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, today I need to stay at home because I'm expecting, in inverted commas, a plumber and a builder to turn up to have a look at my bathroom and give me a quote on replacing the floor, getting a new toilet and putting a shower on the wall and a shower curtain. Hopefully that happens. He did say he would text me yesterday to tell me what time they were coming and he hasn't. So I think it might be a futile day at home, but I have got lots to do. I am determined that today I'm going to really break the back of my music arranging work for the Halloween gig. I've made a start on some of them, but some things I have to source from scratch because we haven't even started at all. In addition to that, I need to have a bit of a clean up because I've got guests coming around tomorrow afternoon before heading out to my gig in the evening. It's not too bad to be honest with you because my daughter hasn't been here for much of the week. So it's just a few things draped around. Like mother, like daughter, look, two of her cardies and one of my cardies. It's like the cardi dumping zone. I'm thinking to myself here, why don't I actually do the housework first? Because it'd like be a treat for this afternoon me to be doing my stuff in a clean and tidy house. Do you know, it's a funny thing, being me, you know, and always having bits and bobs of preparation to do and practice to do for the music or editing to do for the channel. I always feel like the housework is a bit of an unnecessary luxury <laughs> like, and uh, can be put off indefinitely and not put up as a high priority, which is why my house is always a mess. Um, but really, come on, Imo. Tidy the house up. This dry? Yep. Shall I do you a before of the messy house? Oh, coffee spillage. Oh, co coffee. I've got coffee left. Hey, I can have a second cup in a minute. Right, Imogen, you're getting distracted. Right, we've got mess. Oh, I've got my smoke alarms to do. Well, only one, actually, because one is still stuck on the ceiling from before. Some dirty cups and plates to do. Clean stuff to come out. Oh, oh, this is just not a good use of a dish drainer, is it? No. Oh, I might make an apple pie for Izzy later. I've got loads of apples left. And we've got mess over here too. There's the offending heat sensor that's just come off about eight times. I read the small print on the Gorilla tape. Look, it sticks glass, brick, metal, stone, wood, plastic, ceramic, and more. So hopefully it will hold the heat sensor up. <laughs> yes. Up to 12 kilograms, apparently, so it claims. Sometimes people ask me where I got this dryer from. Ikea, but I've noticed they have had them on Amazon. I don't know if they still do, but if they do, I'll link it in the description. I love it though. Because it reminds me of hotel holidays in the Mediterranean, because they always have them on the balconies, don't they? Well then, octopus, release the socks. This, in case you're wondering, is a washable makeup remover pad of Isabel's. Uh, one of her college friend's mums posted it to her for a present having seen in the vlogs that she needed some come out really clean because it's had all black eyeshadow and mascara and stuff on it so fair play it always feels like a nice breath of fresh air when i get that folded up and put away There's not much there, I'll have that done in a jiffy. One cushion there, one cushion there, Aira on the top. Mm, snotty tissue, thank you, Izzy. Remote don't know where the back of that's gone. Yes, I know, antique. It's not even for that TV, which was gifted to us, by the way, by somebody who watches these vlogs sometimes. So thank you, Kate, if you're watching. Still use that whenever we watch TV, but for some reason, I just carried on using the remote control from the one I had previously, which was also gifted to me by somebody who didn't want their old TV anymore. People do sometimes ask me in the comments, do I watch TV? I only watch TV with my daughter as like a social activity or with my boyfriend as a spending time together activity. Those are the only times. I don't watch it at all on my own. And until Izzy was, I don't know, I don't know what age she was, maybe three or four, I had a black and white portable TV with like 
cable or something like that plugged into it like a free view satellite dish plugged into it because the black and white television license was 36 pound a year as opposed to about 144 for a color so that's why and then finally i just couldn't replace it with another black and white so what i used to do when they used to eventually break is just go to cash generators or cash converters whatever it's called and go buy another one for a tenner and then last as long as i could on that but in the end uh, it was just overwhelmed i think i don't know if it's just like the technology was too much for it or they were just breaking i don't know but anyway ever since then i've just received people's cast off color tvs when they didn't want them anymore and they'd upgraded so this is just one of those things i don't spend money on and if it breaks i probably wouldn't get another tv i might do don't, maybe a little one i don't know i wouldn't prioritize it there's only ever a maximum of two people watching at once in my house so we could just watch on the laptop and move it closer basically safely in its cover. This drawer has always got coffee in it, it just kind of ends up going in there. Somebody spotted this mug not so long ago in a vlog, I don't know, maybe a couple of months ago in a vlog, and said, is that your boyfriend? No, it's me! <laughs> my friend made this mug for me. Look what my hair used to look like. It was all braided with embroidery thread in, I think I was probably 22 or something. It's very unflattering and obviously we've got the curvature of the mug not helping. Lovely spot. <laughs> but anyway, for some reason my boyfriend always drinks out of this mug. My friend who made it for me is on the other side but I won't, uh, you know, breach her privacy but she is on the other side so it's nice to see her. <laughs> I had a shaved undercut as well in those days. There was a practical reason for the shaved undercut because I had all my hair in tiny tiny plaits with this embroidery thread in and beads and things like that and all pretty and everything but I found that if I slept on them because they stayed in all the time you know every month or something I would redo them one at a time so like a continuous process you know be in the evening and I'd be like oh I'll just do a couple you know anyway it, I couldn't sleep on it because it would just get matted on the back where my head was in contact with the pillow so that's why I just had that bit shaved but when I took them all out after a few years I was just so happy to just be able to get it out on my scalp and run my fingers on my scalp because I hadn't been able to do it for so long when my dad first saw it he said oh you look like a kohlrabi and I thought oh that sounds exotic it's like, like some kind of Indian princess or something no it's cross between like a cabbage and a turnip I'll insert a picture there this is what my scalp looked like apparently with all the plaits in I haven't had to put my heating on here yet. My house is much warmer than my boyfriend's house. It's 23.5 degrees in this kitchen right now and the heating has not been on since, I don't know, for many, many months. That could do with a wipe. Oh my gosh, that Christmas pudding is still there from last Christmas. Well, Christmas before, it's probably out of date. I haven't got through much of my Christmas gin either. <laughs> it's been sat there since Christmas. And I just opened the lid and look, these are all from, I don't know, Halloween or something last year. I don't know if they're in date. Oh. Right, I'm gonna put the camera away, clean all my surfaces, and I'm actually gonna mop the floor. Use the Hoover mop thing that I got sent by that Amazon seller to review, because it'll be just the job. We're just in via email. Gig next Friday, postponed to probably next year. The problem is, people are probably thinking, well, they'll still get paid, it'll just be in the future. And the thing is, if we'd have known we weren't gigging that night, we might possibly have been able to take a different booking, which we now can't take because it's next week and it's too short notice. But there we are, this is one of the perils of being a musician and being paid per gig. I don't know how I get so many splats at my kettle. I know how I get those because I pour it into my coffee to top it up with hot water and it splashes back out on the kettle, but I don't know what that is. That looks like it's from cooking. Now you see I'm getting all carried away doing my kettle. I've cleaned my, oh, I'm putting dirt on the kettle now. Nice. I'm getting all carried away doing everything, doing the microwave. I need to rinse that off. I'm putting coffee onto my kettle <laughs> instead of wiping it off. So yeah, like I was saying, I'm, you know, getting carried away doing cleaning, but I'm feeling guilty because I know I should be doing my music arranging and it's the middle of the working day. I'm still putting coffee onto the kettle. I don't know how, look, I've just covered it in black bits. Oh, we've got coffee splats here too. It 
room's looking much cleaner and tidier in here now. <laughs> It's like a gleaming showroom. Well, not quite. I need some lunch now. I'm going to go and have a rummage in my fridge because I've still got some picnic food left over from the weekend. Um, so hopefully it's still edible. This is the problem when you go away. You forget what food you've got left. It's okay. I think we're good. There's my lunch. My fingers are not used to the guitar anymore. Just the gentle flute. I'm sitting here wondering if the urban spaceman counts as a space song because it's not doing a chord check. I can no longer play. Basically because I haven't played for 20 years, apart from occasionally to just check if a chord progression works or not for an arrangement. Big awkward things guitars aren't they compared to flutes. I haven't changed the strings in I don't know well over a decade. A lot of guitar players I know change their strings for every gig. These are dead. <laughs> I'm the urban spaceman, baby. I've got speed. <laughs> I've got everything I need. Well, I've got the chords and the words, but there's recorder parts for this one, so that'll suit me on the old whistle, you know, and get old IB on the fiddle for it. Yes, I can see it coming together. It's just whether the rest of the band think it's spacey enough to want to do. We'll see. I'm the urban spaceman, baby. I think these nails need a bit of a cut. I forgot about that and the guitar. Off you go, lads. Oh, that one's already short. All right, let's try again. I'm the urban space taking the recorder part by dictation off the uh, YouTube video basically stopping and starting and writing bits down and then just rewinding a few seconds to just check I got it right and making amends if I didn't you know that kind of thing da, 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 da. Okay, I've got the tune and the structure. I'm gonna have to write it up quick before I forget what my shorthand means. It's looking like some kind of recorder club carnage on here at the moment. Builder still hasn't come, by the way. I texted, I can't go in the cellar and make loads of noise, you know, doing this properly, in case I miss him tapping at the door. That's the problem, so that's why I'm up here. So hopefully the neighbors aren't in their bedrooms. Just been working out the speed of it, literally playing along with the recording off YouTube, just tapping along, and it tells you what speed is, and then you can just put it in then, see? It's half past five now and I've now got a written recorder part for the Urban Spaceman complete with chords and structure of everything. Still have a complete and utter no show from the builder or plumber, no word from them, no reply to the text so but never mind I got stuff done didn't I. This ended up taking me way longer than it should have because I just got really confused about where I was in the video and I was trying to take the dictation down from it. I was just have I done that bit already? Is this bit the third verse or is this the second verse? And I was like confused and having to keep on starting over and like counting from the beginning. Mm. It's 7 25 p.m plumber and builder didn't show. Oh it's dragging on and on. <laughs> oh my goodness does anybody else have this trouble? It just seems to be every single company I contact. Never mind I've been cooking I've got troops arriving well I've got my daughter and my dad. My dad's driving up here for the first time since his op. He's back behind the wheel. He was told he could once he could do an emergency stop properly you know. So he uh, he can and he's got he's got full permission to be out and about. Look, I've been messing up my lovely clean kitchen. What do you think I've been doing? Here's a clue. Look, yes, apple pie with this cheaty pastry because I'm a complete cheat when it comes to making pies. Anyway, that'll be nice for my dad and daughter, I don't doubt. Tomorrow I'm leaving late enough for my gig to be able to host the gal pals around here. So it'll be cakes and coffee in the afternoon tomorrow around here and then a gig in the evening. If you'd like to watch more videos from this channel, do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to receive a notification when I upload. And give the video a like if you liked it. If you would like to help to support the channel and help it to grow because it helps it get pushed out in front of new viewers. Speaking of which, if you're reliant on finding these videos on your homepage, just know <laughs> what it does is it takes into account your browsing history. So if I make a video that's really off topic to what I normally do, you might not see me popping up on your home feed because the browsing history is like, mm, they're not interested in that topic. 
that's just how it works. But if you hit the subscribe button and go on the sub feed, you will see my videos. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll get a little notification popping up on your phone. So you'll definitely know that I've uploaded. I'm gonna go now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.